Hey guys, it's Shaggy here, aka Judith. Welcome to Xbox 360 Search and Destroy Russian gameplay. And you Xbox fans out there will be like, oh, finally, an Xbox gameplay. Because as you guys know, I've been posting a lot of Search and Destroy on the PS3. And what I can tell you right now is that when I'm playing Search and Destroy on Xbox, I find it much more, I guess, is similar. Because people do the same thing on PS3, like, just like here, where people just sit there and snipe. So I don't really see the point of where people have arguments between both these consoles. Because when I rush, I'm rushing, just like I do on PS3, nothing really changed. You know, different controller, that's about it. And uh, rushing, the people are like, just the way I do, just exactly what I would have done on PS3. And um, it depends on what the other guys do, obviously not a team. And that's the end result. Now, what I can tell you guys is what to do with the Search and Destroy in the bases like this, when I'm using the P90 with a um, Marathon Pro, Lightweight Pro, and Ninja Pro. I don't think I do have Marathon Pro or Lightweight Pro on Xbox, but uh should be Marathon Lightweight either way. Um, yep, Marathon Lightweight, Ninja Pro. Correcting myself there before everyone says, you ain't got no pro. You're a liar. Um, as you guys know, that I'm on a kill streak right now. And obviously, if I didn't have a kill streak, I would have rushed straight back in the middle. But obviously, the momentum's now changed, and people are at their spots to camp at, and I'm really. I guess I'm too late to go and rush down the middle again because if I do that now, then uh, people would actually get me. So I went, you know, now I'm going for the sides and uh, waiting for them to. I guess not waiting, but I guess it's just perfect timing. Some, you know, sometimes it's all about timing and, you know, having to. I don't know, maybe luck. Some, some sort of luck is involved in this, or I don't know, you, you're making the right choice at the right time, maybe. But when you're on a kill streak, I would strongly suggest you guys going around the outside of the map just to cover your back. Because no matter what you do, if you're going to rush down the middle when you're on a kill streak and you die, it will be a painful death. Because I guess you've, I don't know, you get pissed off because you haven't got any kill streaks. And it's just a natural habit where whenever you get pissed off, yeah, you're going to rage and just pretty much rage quit. So if you don't want that to happen, you guys got to like watch your back, watch your sides, because you don't want to take too much of a risk. You know, it really doesn't matter if you're not in a kill streak and rushing, you know, because uh, obviously, obviously you're rushing to wow intervention. Hop. Yeah, obviously you're rushing to gain those kill streaks. So when you got those kill streaks, why not make your kill streaks do the work? And then you could just you know sit back and relax a bit. So as you guys know, I'm taking the same route, and what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna jump down from the no. Actually, you know what? I'm not yeah exactly. I remember this because uh, yeah, I've really uh, this gameplay is pretty old. Actually, um, I've actually oh before anyone gets confused, my Xbox Live is finished. Um, remember, I have that one month free. I haven't actually uh, got the gold uh, gold thing whatever membership yet for one years. I haven't really wasn't can't be asked at the moment. Not really bothered, but I'll get it soon. Um, yeah, before everyone goes crazy to come on Xbox or why don't you play on Xbox or why don't you get a lot of gameplay on Xbox because I don't well <laughs> my Xbox Live's going so I don't really I can't really go online but um as you guys notice once again uh, I'm searching for this spawn and I know that I got all three of my kill streaks so I don't really have to worry about my uh, I guess uh, deaths and um the thing I hate about this game is that every time you rush, you're bound to get stuck in places which you don't really want to be in. And uh, there's going to be an example near the end of the gameplay which a situation like this occurs and I do get killed. Because, I guess, like, I was using a FAMAS and all it took was one burst to kill me. And I got stuck in between a table while I was walking downstairs. And here it comes, the last round. I could have got five kills but just end up I guess killing myself not killing myself but making a bad choice at the time um I you know playing SND when you're near the end of the game people tend to get nervous it's a natural thing so what you guys should do is sit back call all the kill streaks and their supports in uh, uh, I guess a decent spot Obviously, what I would suggest you guys do it is uh, whenever you call out your support, like a Harry Strike or Pre uh, not obviously Predator, you can see them, but if you're using a kill streak where you can't see them and like an air support, 
where you have to call out a way to call it out such as the precision air strike or a heavy strike call it out at the spawn because it's just natural for a lot of people to stay at the spawn um, whenever they start search and destroy then they'll slowly move up so we just put it at the spawn I guarantee you get one or two kills with your harriers or precision airstrike or whatever but here, here comes the mega fail I'm on a 16 kill streak and this guy's just spraying his fan mass and I get stuck in between that table and the chair now look at that I, got, I guess I was raging at the time but it really doesn't matter nothing he could do is my fault for making that bad choice what I could have done is ran across the bridge on the left hand side of the building but as you guys know, once again, it's down to your choice. And, uh, you know, what would you guys do at that, I guess, that position? Because you guys know that you're getting shot by the guy with a famous. And he's trying to warbang spray you. But anyway, hope you guys enjoy this gameplay. Hopefully you guys do well in such and destroy gameplays. Keep rushing. Keep making the world a better place. I'm just kidding. Keep making the Call of Duty community a better place. By rushing instead of camping. And uh, Shaggy Arrow. Sign out! Good night, peace. Yeah!